Okay, so in this video, we're going to be fixing the Ford Focus Turbo. We're going to be rebuilding it, building the uh, core, replacing the core. So what we have to do is real simple stuff. This is quite a simple construction, this one. You just have to undo the clamp hole in the middle, which holds the um, exhaust side to the actual core itself, the CHRA. Um, it's really simple. It's just a clamp, as you can see there doesn't take long just clip it open and it pops open there you go now remember this does get hot and cold and it expands and contracts so they kind of weld themselves together so you're going to just need a little bit of help to get it off now the next thing you need to do is to take off the actuator arm which opens the wastegate there's a it's just a split clip there you go and drop it again it's really small so make sure you don't lose it just giving it a light tap, not a hammer, just a tap. You're just trying to send some vibrations for it. You don't want to hit too hard. And make sure you hit on the flange part, the hardest side. And then it just falls off like that. You can see it's quite coked up. Now this particular turbo is held in with a split clip. So you're going to need one of these snap ring pliers. Um, just squeeze it and wobble it around and it should loosen itself. That's how it's held in. That snap ring goes into a little ridge underneath. Now I'm actually hitting it on the actuator um, bracket, not the actual turbo itself, but then it just drops off as you see. And that's the state of the turbo, hence the reason why it wasn't compressing any air and it wasn't doing anything. And the movement there is absolutely ridiculous. This is what's letting the oil seep past the bearings and into the engine and making it smoke like that. So if it carries on to do that, what it will do, it will dry out It'll take all the oil from the engine and you'll end up breaking your engine and your turbo. So it's very important to get this done. Don't delay it if you start to see the symptoms. Okay, so what I always do is clean up the snap ring because it builds up a bit of corrosion and stuff. So just use a wire brush and clean it up. So when you come to putting it in, it's going to be a whole lot easier. Really, really simple stuff and just good maintenance. Let's see what else we've got. Here's the new core. Here's the new CHRA. I will put the abbreviation down I can't remember it. I never do it comes with a rubber seal a little sealing ring make sure you slip that in put some grease on it a little bit of oil do not too much you just want enough just to make it move nicely and then what you're going to do you're going to slide the snap ring around the core itself this is what you're going to be using to go back in later so slide it around the snap ring and just hold it there now it's going to give a bit of a fight to get in but you know, I'm going to show you what I did and how I how I did it. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to close the snap ring up so it just sits in the edge, inside the edge of that thing. You, If that makes sense. <laughs> so just close it up. It won't quite go into its groove yet because the new seal has pushed it out a little bit. So it will need a bit of convincing. But just close it in and sit it within that ledge. Once you've got it within that ledge, you want to just put a bit of pressure around the edges on the actual snap ring itself, just to push it down, just to seat it down so it will slide into the groove. The, um, the snap ring will expand into that groove. As you're pushing it down, you'll start to see it go in edge by edge, slide in, slide in very slowly. It is one of patience and you do have to take your time, but just take your time and you know, just use something. I'm using like a blunt screwdriver, it's like a socket screwdriver. I just gave it a little tap just to send some vibrations in it for anything that was kind of sticking. So I'm not hitting it, I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just tapping it, giving it a little bit of convincing, but I'm not actually hitting it hard. I'm not trying to break anything here. I'm just sending some vibrations through it so it just slides in a bit easier and just helps it out, you know. But this is once you're sure it's pretty in. So look, I'm just having a little look around it. I'm just making sure, just double checking, making sure everything's in there because. That's going to be under a lot of pressure very soon. You don't want anything going wrong. Okay, so once you've wiped all up, here is the locating lug. This is where it locates into the CHRA itself. There's the female part of it. So that's where it goes into. You can't move these ones around. It goes right into a specified spot. So what you do is you take your time and you line those up very, very carefully. You don't want to break anything. You don't want to put pressure on anything. So you just line these up very, very carefully and push them together. You'll feel it go together because there'd be no gap and it'd be pretty even. Once you've done that, you need to slide your clamp on. 
that we took off earlier. Really, really simple stuff. I think it's a seven mil socket on the bolt. It goes in one way because the screw heads has like a square locator part to it. So once you've got it in the right sort of place, you put your bolt in, the square locator there, and you just bolt it up. Really, really simple stuff. Really simple stuff. I'm not sure of the torque specifications. I just did it from my experience, what I felt tight enough to do. So, you know, if you need talk specs, maybe you have to go online for that or ask someone else because I don't currently know them. So I'm not going to give you the wrong advice. So tighten it up until you feel happy. If you're like me, you'll know because it have a pretty close gap like it was before and it will feel nice and solid. It will feel like one unit. So just about putting on the uh, actuator onto the wastegate itself using that split pin again. Just slide it on. Be careful that it doesn't fly off because this it's prone to flying off and it's quite small so you won't find it. Check that everything's moving and working as it should. And put your finger just over the actuator just to make sure that it's actually, the vacuum is actually working the way it's supposed to be working. Okay, so once you've got it in there, just um, have a little spin of the shaft itself. Make sure it's not touching anything. Nothing should be touching at this stage. Everything should be fine. But you know, you're just doing a few little checks just to make sure. And that's it. That's how simple it is. You've reconditioned your turbo. Remember, if you want to buy a turbo, the link is in the description. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next vid. Thank you for watching. Amazing. Oh my God.